Hey guys, it is, is it Wednesday? Hold on, it's the year of Mondays is what it is. Sunday morning, December 27th, I think. Um, it's just before lunch. It's 11.14 a.m. to be exact. I only know that because I'm in the car. Don't get excited. Okay, guys, it has been a crazy day. Update on Mo Bob's mom. She's doing well, as well as can be expected. She's annoyed. That means she's doing well. Because, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, got a bunch of stuff done, got some more to do, but we're going to take a break and go for a walk. I think we're going to go on more of a destination walk like we do now and then, and we're going to go get some coffee. We're going to walk, it's about a mile and a half from the house, mile, yeah, about that. something like that. Okay. So about a three mile round trip, walk, get some coffee. It's actually daylight out still, yay, and come back. So I'll be back in a bit. It is on a more time please. 11 18 a.m. Monday. December 28th, I think. Um, yes, I am still in my pajamas. This is my sweater robe. Um, <laughs> after much debating, much internet searching. I really wanted to do this without buying anything, and I think I did. We are gonna buy a piece of plastic to go on top of here because I would like to have plastic on there. It's actually my husband's idea, it's a good one. Not because I need the plastic, but we had this wire shelf unit that was in his office closet that I've put in this alcove next to the round table that was already here. I did a little bit of rearranging, and then the easel's here, which is nice because it faces um, in a way that I get the afternoon sun on the canvas, which is wonderful. I do have a light there if I need it. We're gonna hang a painting here on the wall. And I think that's gonna be perfect. It's just my little painting alcove. I have an excess of artist paints, golden and fluid acrylics and stuff. I am gonna be labeling the bins. I am this year doing a use it or lose it challenge to myself and I'm gonna try to use some of this up. Some of this is really old. Some of the paint is getting stinky, so it's turning bad. And so I need to use it up. So that's going to be the project this year. And uh, I think this setup is going to enable me to do that very well. So I think that's, I think it's a good job. So.
Good afternoon. It is 2.44 p.m. It's all of about 36 degrees outside. Um, yeah, and we're in the car. We're gonna go for a drive. I mean, you know, there's not too many things because of COVID that you can do safely uh, around the world, not just here. Um, so one of the things we do do occasionally is just get in the car and go for a drive. We don't necessarily stop anywhere except maybe to get a cup of coffee. And when we do, we do it, of course, safely. I've got my mask right here. Uh, and I keep forgetting there's one actually in the pocket of this jacket. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Got my favorite white chocolate lavender mocha on the hot this time. Yummy. Gold Rush Coffee in McMinnville, go there. It's Wednesday, December 30th, 1145 AM. I wasn't sure of the time, but it's just before lunch. Um, I was planning on spending the day at home, finishing up the last few empty pages in the December Daily Journal as bonus pages and getting them done tonight. I got two of the four done. Um, obviously, I'm not still working on the pages. Hello in the car, because we need to go pick up some food for tomorrow and Fred said come with me so yeah here we are Okay guys, so the December daily is done. I decided to take the last four pages of the journal and write a letter to myself or any future people who look at the journal about my thoughts about the year we've had for 2020 and um, kind of a little bit of an inkling into what my thinking was behind um, creating the journal. Anyway, uh, it's done now. And so now it's drying. I've got it propped open so pages don't stick together while the glue is drying. And now I can clean up the mess on my desk. I do think we're gonna continue with some sort of a positive affirmations journal. And so I'm gonna keep some of these things for that. I'm gonna keep some of these things for um, next winter's um, December journals. And um, some things that just aren't speaking to me are going to go in the next purge box and yeah and that's how that's going to go and I'm... so for those that don't know i come from a decently creative family i have two aunts had one has passed away now one on each side of my parents' family, my sisters, my mother's sister and my dad, one of my dad's sisters, they were both um, fine art students back in the day and both creatives in their own right. Um, and that has definitely kind of creative gene has been passed on to the family. Um, both grandmothers were um, creative and both did a lot of needlework in the day and all of that stuff. Um, and my two nieces, um, Megan actually works at a hospital now. In fact, she's considered essential medical help. So she's already gotten her vaccine. Yay, Megan. Um, and no side effects. Anyway, she does um, like spray paint art, galaxy stuff. And Katie does a lot of scrapbooking and things, but she's getting into painting. And I also have a sister who, who's a painter, by the way. Anyway, big family of creatives. And Katie, I just found out like two minutes ago, she said that she made something for us. I've seen pictures of what everybody else got. And, but she said, you probably won't get it until this weekend. It came today. Do y'all want to see what it is? Cause I kind of want to see what it is. So we're going to open it. Hang on. Okay. I didn't expect it to be this big. Uh, Bob didn't either. And the pictures we saw, you couldn't really tell how big it was to be fair. Um, yeah. 
Okay, it's, I think it says something in German, which I'm not sure what that says. We'll have to do Google Translate, but there we go. Oh, look at that. There's a card taped to the back. Maybe it says on the back. So for those that don't know, my husband is German, 100%. He doesn't speak any, though. You don't know what that says, do you, dear? No. Okay. I don't know what that says. I have trouble with my English words, but it's beautiful nonetheless, and I can't wait to find a place to hang it. Thank you very much. Yep, thank you. All right, we're gonna- Husband's got the TV on, so I'll shut the doors up here. Um, happy New Year's Eve, everybody. It is December 31st, New Year's Eve. It is 12.26 p.m., just after lunch, and um, I think we're ready. <laughs> I know I'm ready for the year to be over anyways. We're happy. Okay, so it's 12.05 p.m. on Friday, January 1st. Woohoo! Happy New Year. Um, we are not super hungry for lunch because over ate yesterday. And so we also are taking advantage of a break in the rain to go for a walk and get some steps in and burn off some of the calories we ate last night. Yeah, and stop by the mailbox. So anyway, I'll be back.
Good morning. It is Saturday, Saturday, January 2nd. I think it's Saturday, January 2nd. I'm pretty sure it's about 11 48 50 ish AM. Uh, let's see. 11 49. Oh, you know, it was close. Okay. We got most of the Christmas decorations down except for one string of lights for which he needs to get on the ladder. You just don't want to be on camera right now. Um, and it's raining outside and slippery. So we're going to wait until it's neither of those things. And then, but we unplugged it. I got to talk to my friend, Leslie McGrath. She had COVID recently. Fun fact. Um, she's doing much, much better. I'm so happy for that. I got a journal page made. I've got a couple of our new little cards filled out for our thankfulness jar. Hey guys. Yes, we are in the car because we do not feel like cooking again. And our fridge seems to just be full of things that are frozen and sweets. Like chocolates. Chocolates. Liquor. Yeah, yeah liquor, yeah. Wine, champagne. So we're gonna go grab a hamburger. Hangover. Hangover, yeah. So we're gonna go do that. In the meantime, I hope you guys have had a great week, a great new year, and that, like us, you're looking forward to what the new year has to bring. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear your mask. Support your favorite content creators here on YouTube and over in Facebook. At the minimum, like, share, and subscribe. If they have an Etsy shop or a PayPal tip jar or a Patreon or something, think about joining. Most of us have one of those or all of those, myself included. Check out the video descriptions always for relevant content. Leave questions, comments, or concerns down below. If you're in one of my Facebook groups, feel free to tag me in a post if you have a question. And if you're not in one of my favorite, my Facebook groups and you, why, why are you not? Yeah, why? 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 Just why? <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for this week. We will see you all in the next week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We're going to go get our hamburgers and I'll see you later. Bye guys.